<clears throat> All right, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. I'm just in a, a rotten, foul mood. I hate being grumpy despite having Christmas lights up, despite wearing my most Christmassy flannel, I am still grumpy. And 100% of this grumpiness is directly related to YouTube. So it's Monday, December 23rd. Merry Christmas to you, by the way. And I woke up this morning all super motivated. I'm gonna hit the ground running. I'm gonna start shooting video. We're gonna get some stuff up on YouTube. I log into my YouTube and I'm greeted with this. Four very random vlogs from 2018 are removed from YouTube, gone. That is over eight hours of content that's been deleted from YouTube because of what they say is harmful or dangerous content. Harmful or dangerous content. Now when you sign up for YouTube and you start being a YouTuber, when you sign up, you're agreeing to follow all of these YouTube rules. They have lots of rules in place, including these community guidelines. The community guidelines are always changing, always shifting. Some people are getting strikes for things that other people don't get strikes for. Some people get strikes for things that nobody else has gotten strikes for. Strikes are obviously a, a really bad thing in the YouTube world. And if you go into the community guidelines, which are really easy to find, and you read under the harmful or dangerous content in there, I don't believe that my videos fit the harmful or dangerous content strike. Extremely dangerous challenges? No. Dangerous or threatening pranks? Instructions to kill or harm? No. Definitely not. Hard drug use or creation, eating disorders, violent events, instructional theft, hacking, promoting dangerous remedies or cures, content which claims that harmful substances or treatments can have health benefits. Now, I don't wanna to get too conspiracy theory tinfoil hat, but that last one could in a really odd roundabout way be related to vaping. I genuinely don't think so. In fact, if you click a little further into the community guidelines, you look under the drug use area, which is what I assumed I'm thinking in my head, vaping, nicotine, these vitamin E acetate deaths, the THC carts, it could all be this some sort of like convoluted thing. But even looking under the drug use rules, displays of hard drug use, making hard drugs, minors using alcohol or drugs. I mean, no, none of that either. I'm a 42 year old grown ass man. Selling hard or soft drugs, steroid use, again, None of those, none of those. I don't believe my videos are harmful or dangerous content. And one thing I've been saying in my videos for well over a year now, when every, at the end of every video, I always say the same thing. Links are no longer allowed in the description. Thank you, YouTube. So you're gonna have to use your Google Foo. I was reading articles last year that was mentioning that YouTube was gonna crack down on YouTube channels that link in the description to places like external vape shops where someone could buy a vapor product or a nicotine product, God forbid, a nicotine product. So I stopped including links in all of my descriptions. And I kind of think that that's what this all stems from. Now, if you go really, really digging into the community guidelines, I mean, you have to really dig in there. You can find something about nicotine. And this is the thing that YouTube showed me first. Harmful or dangerous content. Content intending to sell certain regulated goods and services is not allowed on YouTube. This includes directly selling or providing links to sites that them. Sweet, sweet typo there, YouTube. Real pro. Regulated goods and services include alcohol, nicotine, unlicensed medical services, stolen financial information, endangered species, or online gambling casinos. Please remember these are just examples and don't post content if you think it may violate this policy. So with enough digging, yes, you can see that nicotine is, is clearly listed on there. And I legitimately think because of this, vape reviewers on YouTube, our time is limited here on this platform. Waking up to these strikes, YouTube putting me basically in YouTube jail where I can't do any streaming or anything like that, and warning me basically that if this happens again that my whole channel will be taken down. I'm terrified of YouTube. I have always tried to be as compliant as possible with YouTube regarding every single rule, every single community guideline. I stopped posting links in my description. I only use royalty-free music. I use all of my own graphics. I want everything to be up and up.
with me and YouTube so that I can continue posting videos and continue streaming and hopefully, hopefully get some people who aren't interested in vaping, get some smokers to watch a vaping video, maybe switch from smoking. And that's kind of the catch 22 of this is YouTube does allow you to age restrict your videos. And if you age restrict your videos, then you can kind of have some of those bad things in them. You could talk about opioids. You could talk about drugs. You could talk about alcohol. It just has to be age verified. If you upload a video that's age restricted, you might as well not even upload a video because YouTube is gonna promote that video zero. And an age restricted video keeps people from watching YouTube videos unless they're logged in to their YouTube account. Needless to say, not not super stoked with YouTube right now. And honestly, they have me scared enough that I'm just gonna stop uploading to YouTube. I think that's the direction I'm gonna take. I, I don't see another way to go right now. So unless I can get all my ducks in a row, this is probably going to be the last video of the year and possibly the last video that I put on YouTube, which after 10 years, I mean, that's, that's just a really sad thing to say. Rest assured that myself, Nick Green, Grim Green, will not be going anywhere. What I'm gonna do is link down in the description to both my Instagram and my Twitter if you wanna keep up with me. I've been uploading all of my regular YouTube content to Instagram as well anyway. So all of my content is still there. I don't know what I'm gonna do about live streams. Maybe it's time to look at Twitch. Honestly, I'm just in such a, a, a confused, weird place right now with everything going on in the world of vaping and tobacco harm reduction with a possible federal flavor ban coming in this week. And now I get to deal with YouTube just removing my content from the platform. 2019 has just been, uh, I mean, a, a, a whopper of a year, just a grinder of a year. I'm trying my best to, to stay positive, to stay optimistic, to, to stay the course, and it's getting harder and harder and harder and harder to stay positive. The level of stress that I'm feeling right now is, uh, it's off the charts. It's off the charts right now. I'm really very uncertain of my future on YouTube and that kind of freaks me out a little bit. So again, I, I guess that's all I got for today. I have appealed uh, all of these, all four videos. And like I said earlier, there are four random vlog videos that I definitely, I mean, I can't possibly sit there for two hours each vlog and you know analyze every single thing that I said in the video to see if it's you know harmful content or dangerous content. So that's where I'm gonna leave this. So here's what I'm gonna say. I'm not going anywhere, obviously. Grim Green is here to stay. I'm gonna link down in the description to my Twitter. I'm gonna link down in the description to my Facebook. I'm gonna link down in the description to my Instagram. And I'm gonna link down in the description to GrimGreen.com as well. Hopefully moving forward, all of my content will either be on Instagram, it will be on Facebook, and it will be on GrimGreen.com as well. And just what a fucking perfect way to end this st stupid, shitty year. You know what? Nuts to that. I'm gonna open this Hexome box. I'm not gonna let YouTube steal all my fun. I got a gift from Craving Vapor. Thank you for your continued support. Pops, Joe, Dawn, Jen, Goofer. What is that name? But this, this. Oh, it's red. Oh, it's pretty. Let's end this video. Let's end this video on a good note. Look at this. Look at this pretty new Hexome. Look how beautiful. It's got that like flash tattoo art all over it. There's like even a little tiny hexome. Dice, dice. Knife right there, red button. This is this is just super rad. If only YouTube were as rad as this hexome. Ah, uh, of course. Of course they included a bottle of freaking icicles. So anyway, back to my crummy, crummy mood, even though I've got a sweet new hexome. Thank you so much, John, and thank you so much, everybody at Craving Vapor. I don't know what other YouTubers are gonna do. I don't know, no, I talked to Matt. He, he didn't get any community guideline strikes. I don't feel like I'm being singled out. I would hate to think that someone maliciously was reporting my videos. I couldn't imagine someone being that shitty of a person. So in the meantime, Grim Army, you'll know where to find me. I I'm not going anywhere. Might not be on YouTube anymore, but I'm definitely not going anywhere. Maybe I need to start like a Steven Crowder, like mug club, like private. Just let's just get off of YouTube. Let's, let's just do that. Oh, fucking hell. Well, 
that's what I got for today, everybody. Um, thank you guys, seriously, so much for watching. And no matter what YouTube says or no matter what any crooked politician says, absolutely keep on vaping.